Hello Year 10s, so what you should now hopefully have completed for your critical study on Alicia Merriott is you should now have a copy and you should now have your writing. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to bring it all together for your critical study. So you're going to put this all in your new books, so you're going to leave this page here because that's going to be your title page and then the page after you're going to do your copy, your critical study, sorry. So I've done a couple of examples for how to do it. Um, so it's up to you completely. Um, if you want to, you can make yourself like a little flap so you can put your writing on, your title or maybe some pictures. And if you do want to do that, that's simply folding over the page between the two pages, gluing it together, and then that then becomes that page there and it makes it nice and strong and it's part of the practical study. So that's a kind of an option. I've kept this one here, it's quite simple. So I've just used simply black paper. My copy would go here. The image that I've copied is really important. It needs to go next to it or underneath it or on the page to show how well you've um, copied it. Then I have my writing and some images of the artwork and the images here. And everything is kept nice and straight, kind of nice and neat. And I've got the name, images, copy, writing. Simple, black paper, really neat, and it just then emphasises my beautiful writing and copy that are the main parts, the kind of the showstopper. If you want to take it a little bit further, I've shown this one here. So again, you can bring in a couple of the elements. Um, again, I've got the copy. You might want to now kind of go, right, well, I'm going to push myself a little bit. I might sew my title using some of the leftover material. So you can see I've done... Um, Alicia there and then I've kind of looked at kind of the writing and the images and then also um, putting on different little bits of the coloured paper here um, the materials to put it in so you might even want to sew these bits you might want to do a, a kind of a running stitch around the background to kind of represent the rivers going into it you might want to put some sewing onto the um, copy so as if you've sewed into it and you can sew that on the black paper before you stick it down so it's about now kind of enforcing it and making it kind of um, stand out a little bit more by adding those little textures, those bits of materials, kind of adding a bit of your sewing into it and adding into the images as well. All right, just notice that for some reason I've called it Alice when it's Alicia, so please make sure you get her name right, not like your silly art teacher here, but it's about kind of showing those bits of material that extra bit now of your sewing and bringing it really into that kind of textiles art and thinking about how the presentation then connects to the artist but still keeping it simple still laying it out nice and straight nice and neat no jaunty angles no overlapping of pictures you know sometimes less is more when it comes to the presentation and let your copy and your writing shine so that's what i would like you to do for this week and then we, what we will, me and Miss Smith would like to see is your completed um, critical studies all presented beautifully for the first lesson after half term. All right, any questions, any queries, please get in contact with either of us, but the work we have been seeing is really fantastic, okay? And again, I can't believe I've just done that, but you guys won't make the mistake, but you can tell we all need a half term. Right, hopefully I will see you all soon. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.